It's a new year, and a new video about a question no one has probably ever asked. How did the sad and longing folk song, Oh My Darling Clementine, become a cheery Happy New Year song, Xin Nian Hao in China? Maybe I'm just a sad guy with too much time on his hands, but this question really bugged me. And you might be surprised to know that the answer has something to do, really randomly, with North Korea. So a little background first before we get into the topic. Last year I got married, and my wife is Chinese, and being married to a Chinese woman means that I had a crash course in a lot of Chinese customs, culture and language, including how they celebrate New Year. Now China is really huge, so they often don't have one way of doing things or you know, specific customs. For example, last year we went to a local Chinese New Year celebration, and most of the people there were Cantonese and they were giving each other oranges. I asked my wife, who's from Sichuan province, and she didn't know why, but it turned out that to give an orange sounds like to give gold in Cantonese, so it was a pun slash blessing. This is one of hundreds of examples of how things can be different depending on the province or area, but despite this, all Chinese people sing this Happy New Year song, and it's pretty much their old Lang Sang, or old Long Since. When I first heard the tune, I thought it seemed really, really familiar though, and when I looked it up online, it was an old country and western song that my grandfather used to listen to quite often. It might actually be familiar to you. So here is what the song sounds like. Unfortunately, because of copyright stuff on YouTube, I can't play much more than that, but you get the idea. Well, where did the song come from? And how did it get to China? Well, to learn that, we have to go first back to the 1800s. The song as we know it was written in the late 1800s, and there's a bit of a mystery as to its origins. Some say it was based on an older song, and others say it was based on a Spanish song popular among miners. Its lyrics are quite sad. It's about a miner's daughter called Clementine, who trips and falls into a river, and her lover is not able to save her. But despite its sad story, the song seems to have resonated with many, and it actually became pretty popular. So what does this have to do with Chinese New Year? Well actually, not very much. My wife and I did a lot of research on the Chinese internet, and this is the best that we could come up with. So Clementine became very popular again during the 1940s as it was recorded by the famous American singer, comedian and actor Bing Crosby. This led to it being released by other artists as well. We then jump forward to the 1960s and North Korea after the Korean War wanted to inspire nationalism to their nation and commissioned many plays and films. According to one official North Korean source, their leader Kim Il-sung himself wrote many of these stories, which of course is likely a pile of BS. And this is meant to have included their own classic and shining piece of propaganda known as the Flower Girl. Now I will not go too deep into what the Flower Girl is about, but essentially it's a story about the struggles of the Korean people during the Japanese occupation, and naturally the heroes are the Revolutionary Guard. No prizes for guessing that. It is a weird and depressing tale, but that's not what we are interested in. The interesting thing is that the so-called theme song of the film is a very slow and very sad version of Clementine. Seemingly, some of the North Korean filmmakers adapted the music into their movie. The Flower Girl was popular in China, probably because the CCP at the time only allowed people to watch about 8 approved films. And somehow, the Chinese musicians watching this movie must have decided it would make a good New Year song, which of course would be anyone's natural conclusion. My wife found some old scannings of music sheets from the 1980s, which has the musician's name on it, but looking online we couldn't find out much about him apart from the fact he wrote many famous Chinese nursery rhymes, basically by taking western music and adding Chinese lyrics. Probably the most famous one is called The Two Tigers, which is basically Fera Jaka. From the information online, our guess is he was probably a musician who was commissioned by the government to create these songs. So to summarise, just in case you didn't follow, Clementine started as a folk song in the 1800s, it was recorded and became famous, 
was poached by the North Koreans for some propaganda about how bad the Japanese are, and then taken again by someone in China to make a Happy New Year song, which became extremely popular. I really have to point out as we finished that this was pretty hard to find out, because the Chinese internet is so confused about where the song came from, with many people and websites thinking that Clementine is actually a British hymn, or it's actually our New Year song. I have no clue why this is, but for some reason that's what they believed. I hope you learned something from all that, and although it's a bit late, I wish you a Happy New Year. Thank you everyone for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please make sure to share it on sites like Reddit and Facebook. And make sure to check back for more videos coming soon.